This all started about four years ago. We were at a golf weekend and with a bunch of colleagues of mine. And there was an article in the Staten Island Advance talking about a, a child that was very sick. And one by one, everybody started saying they sent a check. So I thought it was funny. I said, because I did also, I says, I always wanted to start a charity for children. Why don't we get together a charity and we could do this and uh, maybe help a lot of families. Everybody looked at each other and says, why don't you just get it started? That's how the Emergency Children's Help Organization got started. We help children and their families during a medical or living emergency. In the last three years, we've helped over 50 families and we've met some wonderful people. People tell us how we're doing a great job. We're the ones that really feel blessed that we'd be able to do this. To share these blessings with people in need, I don't know anything better you could do in life. We love doing it, we love meeting these people, and we love helping. I believe that's what Echo's all about. Echo raises money through various fundraising events, which include banquets, raffles, auctions, both silent and live. We also have recently raffled off a Mercedes-Benz, which was a very big success for the organization. The C300 goes to number 456, Anthony Marino. Echo has sponsorships as well as private donors for various parts of our events and annually the board participates in donating certain amount of funds to help pay for expenses. The monies go direct to the applicants to pay for medical bills, medical equipment. We have paid for food and clothing, and we've paid for lodging when some of the medical facilities are outside the state. I got involved with ECHO through a request of our chairman, Sebastian Angelico, who's a good friend of mine. I thought it was a very good opportunity to help the community. And I have to tell you, it is the most rewarding experience of my life. After serving two years on the board of directors, I was recently appointed executive director. It's tough to hear some of the stories that come across our desk. A lot of us do wear it on our sleeves. Uh, when we hear the stories of the unfortunate situations some families are going through, it's tough to walk away and not make it affect us. But at the end of the day, we have to remember that if we don't listen to those stories, we can never help. And it's more important that we do help. Some families that we help, for example, are the Fiorentino family where their little daughter, Gabriella had a brain tumor. During her ordeal, Echo was able to help their family pay some of the medical bills to kind of ease the burden a bit. And I'd like to report that little Gabriella is expected to live a normal life. Recently, Echo helped the Affronti family. The Affronti family is a family of five children, one with special needs, who tragically, suddenly lost their mother. Echo granted the Affronti family our largest grant to date, which helped them move on with their lives, paying for essentials and everyday living. Lastly, the Dilgen family, whose son needed treatments at a hospital in Cincinnati. The Dilgen family were provided travel and lodging expenses through a grant from Echo. As Echo grows, though, so do our grant applications. We're growing at an exponential pace and we need help. Applicants eligible for grants from ECHO are children 18 years of age or younger living in Staten Island or New Jersey. An application process is very simple. It's as simple as going to echoorganization.org or calling the office at 866-755-ECHO, E-C-H-O. Our goal is to try and help as many children as possible. To us here at ECHO, the sky is not the limit when there are footprints on the moon.